Alan Hitchhead here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Extreme on the last episode. We defeated Morph Moth last. And in between episodes, I went back to Morph Moth stage and filled out some sub tanks. That's why my statistics may look a tad bit different. But let's jump into Magnus Centipede stage, shall we? The final Maverick of Extreme Mode. Here we go, and he pulls on his little feelers. Here we go. Closing in on end game. See, my sub tanks are full. Just gonna run through this because I don't care about getting caught and stuff. We do need that block to be up top so we can grab it. And get up here and get our last heart tank. So we hit the auto save thing, and that thing can fall and squish us. So let's not have that happen. Okay, shoot the pink blocks, and we're good to go. Okay, I remember that squishing me one time. Okay, let's get through here. Slow and steady wins the race. And we do that. And we get our final sub tank. I should probably put the speed burner back on because we have a mini boss coming up. And it is weak to it. And he's down. Drop some health for us. That's cool. Let's just fall down. We're going to get scanned a million times anyway because our final zero attack is in this area. So we're probably going to get scanned a million times, but it's up here. And there we go. Enter this capsule X. Install the program Zero Scramble Final. This will allow you to call a special A level Hunter Zero. This is the most powerful weapon and will destroy almost any enemy. Keep in mind that this requires a huge amount of energy. Use this on strong enemies that may seem impossible to defeat. I don't know if it works on bosses. I don't use the Zero attacks, so whatever. Let's just show it off real quick. Um, maybe it's like a combo or something. It does a dash, combines them all into one. I don't know. I'm going to need to find an enemy to use it on. I don't know. Whatever. So we got scanned three or four times, so this guy's going to change colors. He's purple now. Oh, crap. He didn't do that the last time we fought him. Okay, we had just enough to beat him. Okay, he did drop health, so that's cool. Nope. Not squishing me today, sirs. Sir blocks. Sir blocks everywhere. Let's get the silk shot equipped. So we can meet up with our buddy Magnus Centipede and hit him right off the bat.
Okay, guy. Why did that happen? Uh oh. What is he doing? Whatever, that worked out. So, for defeating Magnus Centipede, we get the Magnet Mines. If I do recall correctly. So, let's jump into it. Sigma stages. Okay. Now we're the game's about to start getting extreme, as I mentioned in an earlier episode. In normal mode, you fight Zane in this level. In hard mode, you fight Gmail. In extreme mode, you fight them both, back to back. So that is why it is about to get extreme. That is not the only spot in this game where it gets extreme. We'll have a twist to another boss a little bit later. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. So first up. Auto save, and then in the first room, it's gonna be our good old buddy Zane. And these rooms were always in the other modes, except they were just empty in the other modes. In normal mode, Zane was here, and then the room after this was empty. And in hard mode, Gmail was in his room, but this room was empty. And I found out that I can't talk and fight Zane at the same time without completely destroying myself. Because he's got the stupidest, easiest pattern. And I always seem to take a lot of damage fighting him. So now we go straight into a fight with Gmail. Still weak to the speed burner. Still has his magic carpet. And he killed me. Because he fell on me. Does that mean I have to fight Zane again? Yep. So this time I'm just going to try to concentrate. And remember, I have sub tanks if I need them. Okay, there goes Zane. Now we're back at Gmail. I'm pretty sure I've got him in the bag this time.
if I can quit bumping into the man. Oh my god, he killed me again! This is a great, great episode, and I'm gonna blame that on the fire button not working. Well, doing great, doing great. Come on, Zane. Okay. Pretty sure I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm out of speed burner. This is going to go great. Not going to be able to reset his pattern. This is great. This is great. This is just what I wanted to happen. This is just how I wanted this fight to play out. There we go. And I'm so damaged. This is ridiculous. I'm going to equip the electric spark because that's what we can use here to take out these guys with ease. Nope. Okay, good, I got that. Or it could disappear. Okay. Oh, this is the area where we can grind. So forgive me if I do so. Because it's the best place to be able to do this. It, it, it might get slightly annoying, but I need the sub tank energy. And that free guy is much appreciated. Drop the one up. I like how it always shoots out to the side like that. Let me fill up one more sub tank. You're going to need as many sub tanks as uh, you can get because it's going to get pretty rough in a little bit. So 
let me fill up my third sub tank and we'll be all right. Just a little bit more. I shouldn't hit that button because it's going to make me recharge it. That energy just disappeared into the the void of nothingness. Okay. Why did I do that again? Ah. Oh. There we go. Just a little bit more, I promise. This will go by quick. Oh, it already started working on the next one. Whatever, we'll move on. It's boss spider time. That was really close. Why? Okay. Doing pretty good. Well. I didn't think he could get me over here. Just a little bit more. Whatever, I hit him and he hit me, but whatever. What was up with that? I shot, but nothing came out. One more. Okay, so that's Boss Spider. So, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Extreme, we'll take on the next Sigma stage. I'm Alan Edgehead, and I will see you next time.